What's up guys, it's me Chad and today I have a very special guest. Hi, I'm Casey. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I have Casey here with me and today we will be, well, I'll be learning how to make a lasagna. Casey will be teaching me how to cook a lasagna. I'm gonna try. We're gonna try our best. We got the ingredients here. We started prepping already. We got the onions, we got the cheese, we got the flour, we got all the ingredients. And we're gonna try and chef it all up. You ready? Yep, I think so. I think so too. All right, let's go. Ooh. Okay, Chad tells me he does not cook, which is like, like in what universe? How are you surviving? Are you I'm just ordering in every day? <laughs> but um, we're just gonna start simple. We're gonna get our beef mints, saute it in the pot, and then add all of our seasonings, and then take it from there. All right. All right so let's go over by the stove. Put that there. So how many of them do you use when you cook in lasagna? Um, one or two? Um, one is usually enough, but we're gonna use both of them today because okay. we're just not gonna waste. Nice. Not wasteful people. Put some oil in the pan. You're gonna put like a tablespoon. You can judge it. I'll tell you when to stop. I'll just tell you when to stop. <laughs> Go. It's fine. It's oh, safe. I was like, it's I was like, I was like what? <laughs> <laughs> a little more. All right. That's good. That's All right. good. So you can put it in the pot now. Here. Oh, there you go. Yep. Put all of it in. Right. And you're gonna break it up. Break it up. Right. So you keep breaking it up. Keep going. Keep going. And you're gonna try and brown it. Right. All right. You have to keep moving it, but as long as you break it up and then wait a second. So let it sit for a second now, and then you're gonna go back to it, and then you're gonna add all of these seasonings. All right. Simple. You can manage this. Got not, this. Nothing too hard. You're gonna make this lasagna. It's gonna happen. <laughs> I looked over in the camera with in the sky. <laughs> I was like, wait, what are you doing on there? Anyway, yeah. Okay, I'm now a top chef. I learned all of these things by myself. So I don't want nobody from Italy in the comments <laughs> being like, Casey, this is not this is not how it goes. <laughs> you know the, the keyboard warriors. Okay, you can add a bit of salt now and all those seasonings. So some salt. Don't flip the top. Oh, it's one of the bougie ones. There you go. And then just grind it. Yeah. Go. Oh. One more. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> and then some rosemary. Alright. Go, man. Don't be afraid. Go, 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 go. Get well seasoned and stuff, man. Alright. That's good. All right. And then some parsley and some basil leaves. Chad, you're afraid. I'm afraid. afraid of the season. I don't want to hear say I mash up. No, come <laughs> man. Chill. <laughs> That's okay. And now mix that all up. It's almost done browning. Then you're going to add all those seasonings to the over there in the bowl that you cooked up earlier. All right. So that's garlic, sweet pepper, and onion. And you're gonna make that sweat for like 10 minutes. Mix it up. Hey, 10 minutes? 10 minutes. Hey, it's gonna really so You have to so watch deep. your pot because you don't watch want to burn. Right. right? So you want so it's not a 10 minute break, it's a 10 minute watching. 10 minute watching, nothing right. can to just sit down, right? The meat's off to a start. Yes. See, that wasn't Ooh, too bad. That wasn't too bad. Yeah. And then our pasta is already, we yep. pre-cooked the pasta in pasta the essence of time. Pasta is cooked already. So we've got the pasta ready. Ooh. What do you do on a daily basis? Like, you order out a lot? No, you know, I'm just really blessed to have a sister that enjoys cooking. Wow. So I'm guilty. I'm one of those where she's just cooking. She'll cook for four because I eat for three. <laughs> <laughs> You must be lucky. Yeah. So you don't even watch her in the kitchen ever? I watch her in a but like sometimes it don't make sense I'm cooking and she's mm. cooking because then my food is no longer good. Oh and I'm God. just like, it's one of those where I'm going to put my food to the side and be like, what are we making right here? <laughs> you better hope that your sister, your sister got you for life then. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the next step is after this, you're going to just brown that. That's gonna take, that's the easiest part. And then we're gonna add all of our sauces. I would usually add wine or beer, but we don't have that, still gonna be yummy. And then we're going to make that cook for like 30 minutes. Get that simmer minimum. In. Yeah, cause we right. want the flavors, you know, come together and everything. And then 
After that, we'll start to make our lasagna and build it and okay. bake it. I had a question. Mm. I saw flour here. So, the flour is going to be for our bechamel sauce. Bechamel, yeah, bechamel sauce. So the bechamel. 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 It's a French white sauce which consists of white of flour and <laughs> butter and milk. Now it sounds basic, but it adds a lot of flavor to like lasagna because it adds a creamy layer of the sauce. Oh. So I like the addition of the bechamel. Some people don't. I love it. No, we're trying it. Yeah, tasty we're, way. we're doing it the proper way bechamel. today. Bechamel. 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 You guys are getting the bougie way. You guys are getting <laughs> cream sauce. <laughs> Five minutes. Cover it, but um, even with cheese, I don't, I don't, I don't mind cheese. But a lot of people want it to be super cheesy. I only like cheese on the top layer. Mm. To be honest, you can load it up and brown it, but people want cheese on every layer. Every layer. So I don't know what you were expecting today. What do you We're want? We're doing it the Casey way. Casey way. We're gonna try it exactly how you like it. And then at the end, when them people say, <laughs> "Me didn't want more cheese," and it's like, "Blame me," and then I'm just sort of like, "But I." Asked. I tried to no, help you. No, we're doing it the Casey way today. I'm not teaching you guys. I'm learning with you guys. Okay, this is ready. So bring the sauces. All right. Tomato sauce. Fargo sauce. Okay, tomato paste. So this is the point where we would add like wine or beer, but if you don't have it, that's fine. You start to add your sauces. The right. only thing that you're not gonna add all of is the tomato paste. All of the diced tomatoes. Yum! And then the prego, all of that. I'll mix while you're doing it. Now all of the tomato sauce. Yes. Wait, are you adding this one? Yes, all of it. And then for the tomato paste, you're only gonna do like two heaping, like two teaspoons. Two heaping spoons. Right, right. Heaping enough? Yep, that's Perfect. good. Perfect. Actually, just do one more of that and then we're good. Perfect. People who don't like tomatoes also love pizza, love lasagna. That's, I'm one of those. You have those people. type of people who can't eat tomato, but they will eat anything with tomato anything sauce. Anything with the on tomato it. byproduct, that makes I can no have. sense to me. But hey, yeah. So you let this sit. The longer you let it sit, to be honest, the better the flavor. All right. Um, so even if you can make it sit for an hour, but you have to keep stirring it because you don't want the bottom to burn. Right. Um, but you're just gonna leave it and watch it for the next like 30 minutes. Okay, guys, so we're going to step simmer, right? Yeah, step, step simmer. simmer. There we go. Yep. So, so we'll see you guys in two 20 seconds. 20 minutes. Oh, two seconds, I meant. 20, I meant two second, minutes. 20, 20, 20 minutes for us in the real life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask Casey some questions about herself and just see which one of these things she prefer. So would you prefer stewed chicken or some oxtail? Oxtail. Mm, okay, boiled dumpling or fried dumpling? Boiled fried dumpling. Oh, you know, funny enough. <laughs> no, that's not a joke. I know it's not, but I it's saw, so good. I saw a TikTok today of a man. He, what he did? He fried them and made it into a f dumpling fry of a taco. Mm -hmm. No, that it was, is... No, it looked But imagine you, you just, you know, you, bo you have your boiled dumpling from the night before, you fry it, and then you have a little corned beef and you put it in the middle. In maybe the with middle? a yeah, Cut it, slice it, and put a piece of fried plant. That's what I'm feeling for right now. Mm -hmm. mm. We're back! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chad, stir this, make sure the sauce now burn up. It's been sitting and simmering and getting all the flavors in together. You can test it at a moment. See if it needs a little salt, a little pepper, anything. Just use the hand, go. Taste it. Right? If it's right, you make the shot. How are you tasting so far? I like it. Okay, that's good. And I got a piece of beef too, I like that. Okay, then leave it. Make sure it's going to our stuffs. And Go we're gonna to make the bechamel sauce now. So, right. like I said, it's just butter, flour, milk. Sounds simple, Easy. but it's really tasty. Right. So, we're gonna add like four tablespoons of butter. We're gonna let that melt. Let that melt up a bit. And then you're gonna start adding four heaping scoops of flour. Okay. Yeah. You can start actually adding it. So essentially this sauce just adds a nice creamy layer. You're gonna hear it. Hear it? You're gonna see it start browning soon. The flour thickens the milk that we're also gonna add to. It's so giving me like a dumpling vibe right now. Yeah, it looks look like, like a dumpling. Like a dumpling but you're gonna hold it and um, let me turn up the heat a little bit so it can go a little quicker. 
super easy. So the butter will cook the flour, so no raw, no raw no flour. Raw flour. Mm -hmm. No yeah. raw flour will be in this at all. Okay, you can leave it for a second, but you don't want it to burn. Burn, so I gotta right. watch. This is my pot, I really gotta yeah, watch. You have to watch your pot. But let's check this pot to make sure it's not burning. So, let me just see this. So, one of us has to pour the milk, one has to stir. Which one do you want to do? I'll do the milk. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so slowly pour it in. All right, all of it is gonna go in. So you have to be careful because this burns super easy, so you can't really leave it. The yet. cow's milk? No, just this oh, mixture just in the itself. Mixture. Right, so you keep stirring it, and I'll make sure I'll stir our sauce so we're not burning it up. We can add some okay. salt. We're gonna add some parsley, some dried parsley, because that's what we got. It's gonna get thick really quickly, so you just don't want it to get too thick. That's why you have to keep your eye on it. Do you feel it getting yeah, thicker? Yeah, I feel it getting a little bit thicker. Right. Sometimes we don't. We turn it off like right before we get to, to the thickness that we want, because even when it cools down, it still, it's still gets. Heating up. It's still heating up and it's still getting thicker. Okay, so Chad behind me, he is taking care of the bechamel sauce that's going to be layered with our lasagna. So with the tomato sauce, with the cheese, and then the bechamel sauce, it's really, really good. I like it. Oh, we it. get thick, no. Yeah, turn it off, Chad, turn it off. See, look at Shoe Chef in a trying team, you know? We're trying to make sure that he goes into this world and comes to the himself, you know? And a woman alone can cook, anybody can cook. You understand what I mean? You have to know how to take care of yourself. Yeah. So let's see what is going on with here. All right, so just take it off of the heat, and we're all done. So our sauces are ready. All right. Keep stirring it or it's good enough? No, it's good. You're Alrighty. good. I feel so nervous when I'm cooking with someone because if it tastes really good and I try it on my own, it's and I, miss, <laughs> I feel like I missed one thing, I just feel like it's off. So we're gonna start layering the lasagna. We're one step closer to eating our yum yummy creation. <laughs> so we have our sauce, we have our bechamel, we have our lasagna noodles, we have our mozzarella cheese, and we have our parmesan cheese. So we're gonna start first. I'm gonna do the first layer, and then you're gonna take over. All right. So first we're gonna lay, yep, you're gonna lay healthy amount of the sauce on the bottom, right? Alrighty. So the layer, how thick should the layer be? Well, this is just the bottom layer. You just want to make sure there's a little sauce on the bottom layer. You don't want to see any spaces really. So we have enough sauce to ensure that. You don't want to see any glass on the bottom, right? All right. One in. Okay, this is giving me simple vibes. It this is It's giving easy. me simple vibes. I it's like easy. this vibe. Right. And then we're gonna do the same thing over again, right? Wait. Oh, so I now, forgot about that. Exactly. Oh, so we're gonna put our bechamel sauce on, right? Spread it, give it a nice spread. It doesn't have to be too even or too perfect. You just want to make sure that there's enough on there, right? We'll put sauce now. Let's just spread that. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right. Which right. cheese do you prefer to add in the middle? Or you just do a little mixture I do a little of both? Mixture of both. So we have, both. yeah, just go on in. So we have some Parmesan and some mozzarella, right? Look at, it's look looking at good. Look at what we did. Look at what we did. It looks good. <laughs> and then we top it off with some olive oil. So you just like sprinkle. That's how you, hold on guys. You see that technique? That's how you do it. She's a chef. I would not be putting my <laughs> finger over the olive oil buckle. Huh? And then top it with some parsley. In the restaurant, that adds like three, four hundred dollars. Yes, absolutely. From you, you know, see the parsley, go. you know, three, four hundred dollars. Crazy extra. stuff, exactly. So add some parsley, some pepper that we don't have. Beautiful, perfect. And now it goes in the oven. We're gonna brown it up because the noodles cooked. It's not gonna take long at all. All our sauce is cooked. It's just to get everything together. So yeah, that's it. So be back in like two seconds two for seconds. you. Fifteen <laughs> minutes for us. Go. And you can see the layers from the side because it's glass and you can see all that little... Mm. It looks really good. It's gonna be super yummy.
back and the lasagna has finally cooled. We're ready to cut, we're ready mm -hmm. to taste, we're ready to try it. Alright, so let's go. Alright, let's try and scoop it up. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> that looks right, good. That looks good. Mm. You gotta admit. Mm. 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 Alright, are we ready? I'm ready. Alright, let's try it. Let's go. It's still a little hot. <laughs> but it tastes good. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. That was hot, but that was so good. It's good. Yeah. Actually, you guys should come and taste test. Let me hold this camera. Mm. That's not true. You guys got this. So guys, we got Chloe. We got Nassan. Mm-hmm. Time for the taste right. test. You ain't gotta tell Come me twice. Come on, I'm gonna them chef. I taste them on a food So good. We to make sure it wasn't poisonous, right? <laughs> exactly. I mean, we're, we're, we're looking out for them. You do not have to tell me twice. It is steaming. Go in. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? First impression. How we're feeling about it. It's good. All right. It's good. All right. All right. We're seeing the smile. Mm -hmm. We weren't tooting our own horn. We were, we were being I'm honest. I'm tasting the herbs. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. The rich tomato paste. The rich. The chunks yeah. of beef. Okay, mm -hmm. food network judge. Come on, Detail. give it to us. What else? Detail description. The aroma. Mm. Thumbs up. What would you guys rate it out of 10? Mm. I would give it a 10. I'm going to give it a 9, but just because I would add spice to it. I like yeah. spicy food. Oh, I won't let it It could use a little I'll meat. add pepper on it. What would you rate our lasagna? Because you're a pro oh, chef. Oh gosh, I, I can't so rate I'm my biased. own stuff. You That's have wicked. To. You have to. Guess what? I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. Why? I don't got my garlic bread. Mm. And then two, I want my hot sauce because I just gotta add some heat. Even some red pepper flakes with a proper onion. Or some feminine. Oh, anyway. Anywho, yeah. So yeah. I give it an eight as well. Yeah. See. I like it. Y'all gonna have to give me a second. <laughs> I had to take one more piece just to make sure that I was ready. Mm. And the eight was like solid. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And thank you to Casey for coming and teaching all of us. Because she taught you guys too. Mm -hmm. How to make an amazing lasagna. If you guys did enjoy this video, you already know what to do. Head over to... You do YouTube? No, absolutely not. But you can find me on Instagram. Casey Fan, Twitter. You can find me on anything at go. Casey Fan. At Casey Fan. Head over, show us some love, guys. Peace out. Bye.